Hey there, it's Lynn with Nourish and Nestle, and today I'm going to show you how I made these tassels. I've made three of them, two for in my dining room and one for in our bedroom. Um, this is my grandma's china cabinet, and while I love it, it's a little more formal than my taste, and so we have a jute rug in here, and I thought like a jute bead might help tone down the formalness. Um, so this is just with a wooden bead, and I took jute road apart to get the, the fringy part, I did add some shells. We live uh, near the beach and the, that was a, you know, kind of an easy way to pay tribute to that. Uh, the other one I did is equally casual, but just has a different look and I'll show you that. Um, so without further ado, let's get making some tassels. Here's the other tassel I did for our armoire in our bedroom. And I used cotton rope for this that I took apart. And these are just some a trim from a pillow I did that I kind of took apart and added to just give it a little something. So that's the second tassel. So let's head to the garage to drill some holes and some wooden balls so we can make some tassels. First thing you're going to need is a drill. And um, you're also, well, I also used a three quarter inch speed bore. That little screw tip on the end of the speed bore really was helpful. I also used a 3 8 inch drill bit. This piece of wood was just handy to put inside my vise so that my wooden balls had something to sit on as I pushed down on them with the drill. In terms of um, the wooden balls, one is actually a knob and one was a wooden bead. This is a knob with the flat bottom, which really made it easy for the speed bore to grab a hold of. Uh, the downside of this is there isn't a hole all the way through, but that's what I used my three quarter inch bit for. This is a large wooden bead, has the hole all the way through, but the spherical end made it hard for the, for the speed board to grab a hold of. So it's just a trade off. Um, I will show you how I did both of them. The other thing that came in handy was just a piece of um, sandpaper. Um, primarily two reasons. One, to prevent the ball from kind of getting marred by the vise as I applied pressure to it. And the other reason is it really provided some extra grip so that the ball didn't move in the process. So that, and with, along with my little piece of wood, held it in place as I pushed down with the drill on the top of the, the ball. So once it's in there good and tight, you're ready to drill. And as I said, getting started on this, the spherical end of the ball was hard, but once you got it started, it was easy. I went down about an inch. Um, and you can see how that was a little bunged up just from the, the speed board trying to grip a hold of it. Here's the, uh, the knob, which once again, that flat surface just made everything so much easier. It was just a cleaner cut too. And once I had that one inch, that give or take, then I came in with my um, three quarter, I'm sorry, my three eighths inch drill bit to take the hole all the way through the end so that I could put a holder on for my tassel. So now we have our balls drilled out and now we're ready to put together our tassels. So let's get on to making our tassels. For this one, I used jute rope that I separated out, and I also added mother of pearl shell beads to it um, to give it kind of a beachy, coastal, rustic feel. The jute rope I used was just was quarter inch jute rope, um, and I cut it in, say, 14 inch sections.
and it was just a matter of basically un deconstructing it is probably the best way to say it. Um, you know, each each piece of the rope cape was in three sections, and then I took apart each section as well, and it was it was really easy. So I'm not going to make you watch this whole process. I'll fast forward through this, but you can get the gist of what it was about. You're going to want to just test to see how it looks in the ball. That was a little thin, so I, I just added some more pieces of jute. And this will make a a nice full tassel. I cut my pieces about, you know, the whole thing about 14 inches, you know, when you fold them in half, that's about seven, but at the end of the day, they came to about five inches on each, you know, they hung down five inches, so a total of 10. Um, so I'm just cutting some off here. I did find that when they were too long, they almost looked like um, jellyfish. So I wasn't going for the jellyfish look. Then I just used some um, transparent line, like beading line, and added these little mother of pearl shells. Uh, I had five of them, so five single. I just put one shell on each of the five strands. Once again, you can do as much as you want. I mean, if it might look really pretty to have the whole strand filled with beads or you know, a variation but that's just what I did for mine. So once I got my five strands, um, it was time to figure out how I was gonna put the holder in. And that's as easy as I just separated out the, um, the jute. And I just took off one of the plies, so you can see there's two in there, and threaded it through. So now I've got my, you know, my cord threaded through. Now I'm gonna glue on the the beads. I found that if I didn't glue the beads on the wooden ball, that they would kind of get lost in the jute. Um, so by, by gluing them to the outside of the ball, they would stay outside. Otherwise, they tended to migrate inside of the jute and you just never saw them. So gluing individual pieces of thread to the ball, there has to be a better way. I couldn't figure it out. but. Um, you know, basically I was just putting dabs of glue on and attaching these threads and letting them dry. If you think of a better way, type in below and let me know. It's probably one of those B8 moments. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? But at the end of the day, this worked just fine. And once that dried, um, and I let it dry for a good couple hours just to make sure, it was just a matter of attaching the rest of the jute by tying it onto the, the string that you know came through for the holder. So this, these that I'm tying right now are the bottom of the holder, the hanger, I guess. I just tied it a, a nice tight knot, um, buried that in the middle, and then just once again just added some glue to make sure that it stayed put. And while the you know while the glue is drying, you can arrange your little doodads hanging on the outside so that you can make sure they're where you want them to be. They didn't get twisted up in this process. Um, So there you go. That is how I made that jute tassel. I'm also going to show you how I made the um, the cotton tassel. And 
And for that, I just used, uh, instead of jute rope, I just used cotton rope. Once again, it was three ply. It's the same process. Um, the only difference being, you know, each of those plies, I wasn't going to get every string out. So I probably each ply, you know, maybe pulled, separated into two or three sections. And once again, I cut them, the total thing about 14, 15 inches. Um, once I cut it down, you know, it probably was hanging about five or six inches. This is the uh, trim I found. This is left over from a pillow I made. And I just cut off a little, like two and a half inch piece and then cut the band in half too so that it would fit inside, you know, that one inch hole in my bead. I just glued it in and let it set up really well and then repeated the same process of you know, making the hanger. And for the hanger, once again, I just pulled off three, I'm sorry, I pulled off, took out one of the plies of the three ply rope and stuck that in after this, after I tied the, got the, after the trim was dry and then just tied it on like I did with the jute. can see the finished product here. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you're going to go out and make some tassels. If you have any questions at all, definitely leave them below. I'd be glad to help. And um, if you like this video, I'd love for you to thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see the post, just click the little I in the top right hand corner if you want to subscribe you can click the little nest in the bottom right hand corner hope you have a great day thanks so much